Well, with just days before the DIA's landmark Van Gogh in America exhibit is set to close, there is an international battle brewing over one of the works on display. The tug of war over the painting heads to federal court in the morning, and our Mara McDonald is live at the DIA tonight. Mara, the allegation is coming from a Brazilian collector who says the painting was stolen from him. Karen, that's right. And if you go into the exhibit, you'll see that it says that it is on loan from a private collection in Brazil. Let me show you all the legal controversy over this painted lady and the international intrigue she certainly has stirred up. In French, she's called Les Eus de Roman. In English, she's either referred to as the novel reader or the reading lady. And Brazilian art collector Gustavo Soder, in his filings in federal court here in Detroit, says she was stolen from him. The exhibit of over 70 works from Van Gogh was drawing massive crowds before all this started up. And now, people are curious. And yes. here, oh yeah. my God, I was looking it up the other day. You know, this is really, a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I kind of do. <laughs> the museum is now stuck in the middle between Gustavo Soder and the collection it was borrowed from, only described as a private collector in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The museum's position is we can't be forced to turn over anything because federal law protects and grants immunity to foreign artworks on display in the U.S. One thing is for sure, the Van Gogh in America exhibit has been a big hit, drawing record crowds. Does it amaze you that we have access to all these paintings in one oh, locale? Like that we don't have yes, to go the to the best part. We don't have to go yeah. to the Musée no. d'Orsay in Paris or to Amsterdam no, or no. It, we it it's it but it was really fabulous to have it so was. much here. But now the real question is: the ballpark on what the reading lady costs is about five million dollars. Are you willing to pony that up? <laughs> Yes, out of my petty cash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's a buy one, get one free. <laughs> what would be your, which would be the one you'd want for free? Then I want to take Starry Night with me. Back here alive, I think taking Starry Night sounds wonderful as well. We're going to see what the judge in federal court here in Detroit is going to do about all this in the morning. Now realize the exhibit closes this coming Monday and that because of all the interest in this, they have extended the hours here at the museum and there are a handful of tickets left. We're live at the DIA tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Oh, Mara, I love those laughs from those ladies, right? <laughs> they, they're great. They really are. It's like the they were great. They really were. The makings of a movie, it seems, right? Oh, yeah. All right. It. Thank you, Mara.